All right, this is fifth grade, module five, lesson one. And in this lesson, we are going to explore volume by building uh, cubes and then counting the cubes. And we're not going to be using a, a, an official formula right now because we just want students to begin by experiencing the concept of volume by simply counting all the cubes that are being used. An example, you know, of what we're talking about here is you got this figure here, and uh, there's no simple, beautiful formula for this figure because it's kind of irregular. And so what we want students to be doing is building this with actual cubes and, uh, and then counting. Oh, there's six cubes down here, and then two cubes up at the top, and so we have a total of eight cubes, all right? Now, the one thing that we want... Uh, to be careful with for the students, uh, if you're a parent or a teacher, um, is oftentimes students are going to count faces uh, when really what we want them to be counting are cubes, the individual cubes. So this would count as one, but oftentimes students will see it right here and they'll count it as three or four. They'll count, oh, it's one right here, one right here, one right here, and then one on the top. So they're counting faces when really this whole orange thing is one cube, and this whole black thing right here is one cube, and this yellow one right here is one cube. So that's the big um, careful thing to be watching out for, is watching out for students who are counting faces when really they're supposed to be counting cubes. So here are some examples where in this one, we see that we're going to be using two cubes. We're, we're being asked to find the total volume. So basically that's saying how many cubes were used to build that figure. And in this case, it's two cubic units. So one way to say it is we could say 2u3, or we could say two cubic units like this, cu dot, and then u dot, like that. A couple of different ways that we could do that. Let's go down to b. And B, we can see that there's three cubic units. And then for question C, it's six cubic units. On question D, I thought I would actually build it and show it to you. So uh, it's going to look like this. And so you can see that here's the cube, the, build, the building with the cubes, and you could see the base is made up of four cubes right there. There's four cubes, and then on the top, like the top floor, I think of this as a two-story building. On the first floor, the bottom floor of this building, there's four cubes, and then the top floor of this building, we have two cubes. So uh, object or shape D has six cubes. All right, and then, so we know that's six cubic units. And then question E, uh, we can see this top layer, there's six cubes on the top. So that means there's going to be six cubes on the bottom floor. So top floor has six, bottom floor has six, for a total of 12 cubic units. Now, parents and teachers, um, this concept of hidden cubes and is might be new to your students and they might be saying well what what if the top floors are floating on air and there's nothing below them supporting them okay fair uh, that's a totally fair question um, but we need to understand or help our students understand that the convention is um, especially let's look at F here uh, if their cube seems to be floating in air, it's not. It's actually being supported. There's the assumption uh, that there are cubes um, below it holding it up. So in this case, we have a rectangular prism. We see that there's eight cubes on top, which by convention means there's eight cubes on the bottom. So this has a, a volume of 16 cubic units. So this is going to be tricky because <laughs> we're being asked to draw these figures using this these triangular dot paper grids. And we're going to begin by drawing three cubic units and then double it to six cubic units and then double it to get 12 cubic, 
cubic units. So it's really convenient that uh, these problems are, are organized this way. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and let's do three cubic units and so let's use blue and so three cubic units will look something like this of course there's other ways that it could have been drawn but there's our three cubic units and I'm going to zoom out and scooch over a little bit so that we can see the six cubic units. So the idea is with the six cubic units I'm going to take this and double it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three and then I'm going to add a floor below it. All right. So I'm going to start by recreating what I already had. So there's the three that we already had. Now I'm just going to add an extra floor beneath it. And I'll do it in red so you can see how I added to it. So here's our three, here's our six. Now I'm going to zoom out. Yeah, I'm going to zoom back in here. And then to get to our 12, I'm going to take the six and I'm going to add, I can either add six more down here so I can add two more floors down below or I can go in the other dimension, other direction, and I think that's what I'll do. So let's start by recreating what I already have. One, two, three. So there's the original three. And then we added a floor beneath it. So there's my six. Now I'm going to use red and I'm going to add another slice, almost like a loaf of bread. And there's our 12. And so I'll zoom out so you can see all of those right there. So on this one, John built and drew a structure that has a volume of 5 cubic centimeters and here's the um, a drawing of the figure that John built. Now his little brother tells him that he made a mistake because he only drew four cubes. Help John explain. Well, if you think about it from the little brother's point of view, here's a cube, here's a cube, here's a cube, and back here is a fourth cube. And so from the little boy's point of view, his answer seems to make sense. Yes, there are only four cubes. How could there possibly be five cubes? But we can see, if we actually build it here, um, that, that, well, there's an, indeed, there are four cubes. And let's see if I can arrange it so it looks like the, the picture here. Okay, and where am I going? <laughs> the camera is backwards, so it's weird. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's the, there's the figure, and it looks just like what the brother is seeing, the little brother is seeing, that there's one on top, then the black one, the orange one, and the red one in the back. But the thing is... It's three-dimensional, so this yellow one on top is actually sitting on a blue cube right here, making five cubes. And that wraps up fifth grade, module five, lesson one, where we're exploring volume by counting those little cubes.